I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. A world without rules and controls, without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. to complete games with me James, hope you're doing well, and today we're fighting the Mega Pipicus, the second Ark boss. So we've had to come over to the Blue Obelisk, the uh, Ark developers has now changed a couple of things, so we can't do all the bosses from just one obelisk, we have to travel, and this, I've never actually used the blue one before, but it is a pain to line up all of the Rexes and I've got them in as best as I can. I've got everybody in as best as I can anyway. Um, I think there's a couple of them that are sticking out, but it's really hard to see with the snow. Um, it does say that I'm picking everything up in the middle, in the center. So we're just gonna start like we did last time on the Broodmother, we're just gonna start on the Gamma. And one of the reasons I'm just gonna do the Gamma, I know it might be a waste of trophies, but um, this, well, this will see if we can spawn everybody in, if everybody comes in, and if we can fight this quick enough, I, I, it's not going to be a hard fight, but if we can defeat this quick enough, we might be able to get back in for the beta fight and still have the XP boost, boost. and uh, that will really serve us well because we could go up another 7 or 8 points and I can start pumping some melee damage on these guys and it may not be necessary for me to do a whole different bunch of Rexes for the Dragon. I might be able to get enough points to do it that way. Um, so the first fight's uh, not too difficult. And that's if we can get out of the bunch of Rexes. Okay. Right, what I want to do is I want to bring them all over into this corner. And let's just check. Does it look like everybody's spawned in? I mean... Do a count up. It looks... It looks about right. I think everybody's gotten in. We'll find out when we go when we get out because the good thing is now when you spawn out of an arena um, all of your dinos spawn back in and they spawn on the plate itself whereas they used to spread out everywhere and so I'm just checking we do have time on this boss fight it doesn't aggro until we go up there so one of the things I like to do with the Megapithecus is bring him down to us bring the fight to us because that bridge if we fall off the bridge our Rexes go and that's the saddles as well so um, the best thing to do really is rather than go up there just bring everyone down and where's my move all command have I shifted have I shifted it on this macro? It's no. I just want to pull everybody into this corner, I think. I can't get to my use for Aranus. There we go. Right, this is <laughs> this is still a mess. Right. I'll sort this out, I'll get organized, I'll be two seconds. We've got some we've got some time. move Hugh here. I think I can get in there now. If they stop. <laughs> this is the one thing about bringing Rexes in. I was going to do this with Spinos, but um, I did see some good Spinos, but um, and we did end up with a Mastercraft 
saddle blueprints. We could have bought them in in the end. I wish I hadn't have killed them, but we went for the Rexes because I found the higher level Rexes before Sp Spinos. Right, so let's just go up and uh, bring the monkey down to us. Right. Come on then. There we go. So, let's just get back into this corner. See, I don't want the Rexes to fall off this bridge. Um, is he following us? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Right, let's just get into this corner and start getting our courage roar up. I'd say, I think the Megapithecus is really easy in comparison to the um, Broodmother. I think the Broodmother's the harder fight. But if we have to farm any more tech material, then I'm going to do it with the Broodmother because I've got plenty of their tributes and as you can see that it's not even doing anything to our Rex army, no problem at all. Um, but yeah, I've got plenty of tributes for the Broodmother fight so if I need to farm um, I'll be doing it with the Broodmother. And, and he's out of there so there we go. So that's the tech gauntlets, that's, that's another piece of our tech armour that we're going to need to craft. And the Megapithecus hologram. Okay, so we've got a 10 minute buff. And oh, we also get a Santa hat. We've got our uh, Gamma trophy, which I probably won't use. I don't I don't know when we get to the Overseer, whether we'll just go straight in for the Alpha fight. We'll see. Um, but So we've got this 10 minute buff. If we can get back in, and when we spawn out, everybody should be in place. They should all be back on this um, transporter. And we should be able to go straight back in for the fight, in theory. And if we can kill this Megapithecus boss with the whole army, if we can kill the um, Beta Megapithecus, then that would be pretty good XP for everybody. I'd expect at least half a dozen points and ooh, I didn't want to pull you Uranus out there. You stay there Brie. Right. Let's just jump over everybody. So yeah. What used to happen is when you came out of a fight they would just be spread everywhere but even though you can see a couple of the Rexes sort of floating in the middle they're all going to spawn back in. And I'm not even going to bother healing them. I can't see a scratch on them so it didn't prove as much of a fight. I mean, yeah, look, there's nearly nothing. So that wasn't hard at all. However, the next fight will be, and if we can get in there, we might be able to take advantage of this XP buff. Now, we need one of each of the trophies. Now, this um, Megaluana toxin is such a pain to get a hold of. The only place I've managed to find it is in the Swamp Cave. Um, I have got some, I did find two other in another storage crate, so I don't know where I got them from on the island, but the only place I've found it is yeah, in the Swamp Cave, and I've farmed that. I've got, I think it was at the Artifact of the Immune, I've got loads of them, and that's we need that artifact to fight the dragon with and I don't really want to fight the dragon any more than I have to so um, yeah and if you ever kill the Megaluana sometimes in fact it drops the toxin on the floor so just just pick it up it's always worth it it's actually quite a rare resource um, so yeah that's everything right let's just get back in there okay So we've got just about five minutes left on the XP buff. Provided we can get in there quickly. And see, I'm not as worried about this fight. You get a little bit of time at the start to sort everything out. Although <laughs> time is against us right now. Um, right, let's just make our ways out. If I can, can't see where Bree is. Where are you, Bree? Um, let's just try and get on you. 
Nope. Oh, it's a level I thought I leveled them all. Um, I'm just pumping melee damage now on everything. 50,000. They've got all around 50,000 health, so... Let's see if we can get our Uteranus out quick. Then we can really... Up. Oh no, he's coming down. Oh, right, we need to get on the Uteranus quick. Um, I don't... He's stuck. I'm going to run for it because he's got an area of effect damage. I don't really want to be on, off my dinosaur here, so as quickly as just get on Bree. Okay, and no, this is not Bree. I'm on a Rex. Oh no. Right, okay. Uh, and they're fighting. Oh, he's fighting near the bridge. This could be really bad. Oh no, this is not what we wanted. Right, um, right, well, Bree's gone straight in the middle of that pack there. And she's only got a primitive saddle, so that's... I think she's got around 70,000 health, but she's going to be taking some damage now. Um, so we might lose Captain Marvel. Uh, um, as long as I don't lose any of the Rexes. It doesn't look like they can... they're, they're falling down. It looks like they're positioned okay. Um, I'll try and do some damage myself and get in there. There's nothing else I can do. That went wrong. I he sort of just came down. Usually that doesn't happen. It's been, um, aggro until you go up there, so... This is not good. Everybody's looking okay, but... Um, I can't see some Captain Marvel. Yeah, she's not built to tank. Not really. None of them have got our buffs, so this has really gone bad. Um, the only thing that's going in our favour is we do have the XP buff still, and it's looking likely that, that we can drop them before that goes. Um, whether Bree's going to survive this, so oh, I think she's all right. I didn't see, um, I didn't see her die there. Um, okay. So we got 55 f um, t element from that fight because we had 20 before. Um, let's just jump down and just check if um, Bree's all right. She's still there. Get on her. Um, I can't get on her because the Megapithecus is in the way. Well, even though that went totally wrong. Um, we did get some, we did take advantage of the levels, so I can just try and get on Bree. It's like she's, I can't tell how bloody she is. Um, so yeah, she did take quite a hit there, but not as bad as I thought. So our Rex army's more than up to the task of the Alpha, I'm sure. Ooh, that were close. Well, I am going to have to heal everybody up. And, uh... And I'm going to have to level... I'm, I should have got some levels there. Right, well, we need Sergeant Porkins on the case. Um... Let's just gamma up a bit. Does anyone look bloody? I think... they look okay. You... Doesn't even look like you've taken anything. Okay, so I'm back. It just took me quite a while to uh, get all these guys healed up. Actually, some of them uh, got several levels, so most are now pro approaching the point of a thousand melee damage. We've got a few on about seven, eight hundred, but um, some of them be benefited from the XP buff, definitely, and some of them didn't, so um, not to worry. Okay, so we got the last of our trophies. Here we go. We've got to get this one right. Um, I don't fancy getting this wrong again. I haven't fully healed Marie, really. She's only sort of just above 40,000 health. I'm just judging from the last fight, but um, I'm going to stand right next to her this time. We don't want to 
don't want to lose her this time. I mean, she shouldn't be taking any damage if we get it right, but... Okay, right, we spawned right in the middle of the pack. Let's just get... Um, let's just get over this side, because we don't want her growing. I wonder why it didn't give us a chance. It usually always gives us a chance. Where are you, Bree? There you are. choice we've got to we've got to make it let's just get, right okay we're on Brie let's just courage roar everybody and wait for wait for the attack there we go okay this is a bit better we need to stand back and get out of the pack. okay that's better this is how we want to do it first time round So yeah, we've got a really good surround on that Mega Pepperpickers now, and just try and get everybody fully courage roared up. There's a few at the back there. There you go. That's got everybody. Everybody's at maximum damage now. <laughs> I really thought we could have lost some saddles last time, but yeah. Like I said, this is this is no problem. I think. Like I say, I think the Megapithecus is much easier than the Broodmother, but it's just the things you have to gather to come in for the fight. That Megalowana toxin being one of them. But yeah. Only a quarter left now. How many element you're gonna get for the giant monkey? So that's our Tex Rex saddle now, which we needed. That was the next engram we needed. And a hundred and so that would be a hundred and ten we got for that fight. So yeah, it was giving us slightly more for, for each one. We got 20 for doing Gamma, 55 for Beta, and 110 for the Alpha. So we have got some element now. Let's just go up in here and just have a look at the what was in his arena. Because a lot of these textures can't be found around the arc, so they look really cool. Looks like some artwork there as well. I like it. Okay, and we're back. And that's the second boss defeated on the island. We've defeated the Alpha Megapithecus. And uh, we've only got the dragon to go now, but I don't think we'll be fighting the dragon next week. I've got a couple of things we need to do first. So I think next episode's probably gonna be a bit of a building episode. We need to get the tech fabricator up and running. And I need to sort of figure out how much element we're gonna need to, to build some of the stuff we're going to need. So, and I've also got some breeding to do. I wouldn't mind going into the dragon fight with a different version of the Rexes we've got. I think I need to do another 10 that are more geared towards melee damage and less tanky in order to defeat that uh, dragon. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying my content so far. I also put out some guides and lots of arc related content. So, until next time, I'm James from Complete Games. And I'll see you.